Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Ezekiel chapter 3, beginning in verse 18, and it goes like this. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked ways, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Not too long ago, I preached at a little country church, and, and uh, you know, I just, uh, the Holy Spirit's the one that gave me the message, and so I laid it out there, and I called sin a sin. And I named some sins. And uh, this this church was trying to get up on uh, social media, and uh, I was told that they weren't going to put my message up because somebody said that, hey, He's he's talk he's he's talking about sin. We no, we ain't gonna put that up because people ain't gonna like that. Well, you know, that was the reason I was there. That's the reason God had opened the door and the Holy Spirit gave me the message. Is so I could talk about sin. Because you see, you know. There's big churches that are just flourishing because they don't preach on sin. And I guess this little country church is wanting to do the same thing, is get big. Everything's going to be all right. Well, it ain't going to be all right. There's, there's coming a judgment day. And I'll tell you what, folks. I, uh, I don't want to find myself in in the judgment seat of God. And I've had an opportunity to tell people about the sins that he de just detests sin. He can't look upon sin. And all we got to do is ask him uh, for forgiveness and repent of our sins. Just turn around and walk away. But I don't want him to look at me and say, how come you didn't tell them that they was doing wrong? Because, see, that goes on my head then. And I don't want your blood on my hands, so I'm going to tell you the truth. But people today don't want to hear the truth. They, they don't want that light shown in their life. So consequently, there's many that's going to go to a, a burning hell. The, the bottomless pit, the lake of fire. And I don't want to, to look over and then look at me and say, why didn't you warn me? Why didn't you tell me? No. But 2 Timothy chapter 4 beginning verse 3 tells us, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itchy ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Folks, we have got to preach the word. And if the preacher gets up and preaches about sin, preaches against sin, and you're guilty, you need to repent of your sins. It's that plain and simple. But how sad it is. These churches, they don't want to hear about it. But as long as I'm standing behind the pulpit, I promise that sin will be preached against. Yes, God is love. But he detests sin. He can't look upon sin. That's the reason he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us so that we could repent of our sins and be 
seen and loved by God if we accept him as our Savior. So if you're out there and you're one of those that don't want to hear about your sin being preached about, quit sinning! Quit sinning! Because that's the Spirit telling you, quit! If it quickens your heart, stop doing what you're doing! I don't want your blood on my hands, folks. But the, the, the sin of being silent, preachers, evangelists, and teachers will be held accountable for. And I sure don't want to stand in judgment seat and the Lord points that out to me. Why didn't you? Why didn't you while you had that opportunity? Well, I tell you this because I love you. But better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.